In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the fertilization process. Previous videos included chemotaxis and acrosomal reaction. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the blocks to polyspermy. There is always a great threat to the fertilization process, where multiple sperms enter the egg to fertilize it, thus renders the inviable zygote at the end. So to prevent this event from occurring in sea urchins, there are some mechanisms to combat the polyspermy. The blocks to polyspermy is achieved via two pathways. Slow blocks to polyspermy and fast blocks to polyspermy. The fast block to polyspermy is electrical block to the sperms. Here the change in electric potential of the egg cell membrane leads to the blocking of multiple sperms. And it should be noted this phase is the transient phase because this does not last for a long as it provides time till egg successfully launches its slow block to polyspermy. So it gives a room until the slow blocks to polyspermy comes into play. So at the end the slow blocks to polyspermy is the savior and it's driven by cortical granule reaction. First of all let's get to the fast block to polyspermy. In this diagram we can see the egg cell membrane having sodium channels and also it has embedded sperm receptor shown in the blue color. Prior to any sperm binding the sodium channels are closed and the resting potential of unfertilized egg is 70 millivolts negative 70 that is the minus 70 millivolts. If we see it diagrammatically the inner side of egg has got negative charge while as the outside of cell has got positive charge. So when the sperm with specific binding proteins comes in and binds to the receptor on egg cell membrane as shown in the diagram it causes the opening of sodium channels. The opening of sodium channels causes influx of sodium ions into the egg. That means positive charge is getting inside the egg. Furthermore, the acrosomal reaction is driven which marks the entry of sperm into the egg. So upon this event, the sodium channels which were previously opened to let in the sodium ions into the cell are now closed, with which the inside of the cell becomes positively charged. And that process is called the depolarization of egg cell. A slight plus 20 millivolts is achieved by this process and that is sufficient to cause a potential difference between inside and outside of the cell. We see the outside of the egg membrane is now having negative charge. So this depolarized egg cannot bind the sperm now. That negative charge does not let the sperm to get bound to the cell. Because to activate the sperm it needs some proteins to get activated, which needs positive charge on the egg cell membrane. Like we have sodium ion exchanger proteins for sperm which is rendered inactive under negative charge of the egg. Moreover, things to consider is that this electrical block is gradually weakened by the time and eventually the resting potential minus 70 millivolts is achieved back by the cell and in that time the slow blocks to polyspermy had to be launched before electrical block gets vanished. In this graph we can see the electrical potential prior to sperm binding and after sperm entry. We see when the sperm binds and marks its entry inside the cell, the potential inside the egg bumps up up to plus 20 millivolts from minus 70 millivolts as shown in the graph. So this is how the fast blocks to polyspermy works in the sea urchins. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.